my beautiful creative friends and welcome to the making of the fluid version of Pluto. This is the last painting in this series and as usual I will first show you all the materials I'm going to be using today and then we will get started. My work surface is going to be an 8 inch canvas and I have primed it with some GAC 100 this time instead of gesso and I did that because sometimes when I work with pigments I've noticed that they will bleed a little bit on the back of the canvas. Maybe I shouldn't say bleed because they don't actually go through the canvas or anything. You can just kind of see some patterns on the back and it's not as clean as it could be. My base paint is Color Place in Antique White 80% mixed with GAC 800 20%. I'm going to give this a little spin to even out my base paint because I'm going to be working on my composition all at once. Pluto has some color here on this side and then a little heart on this one. So I want to make sure that I can really balance this out and capture that cute little heart on the side. Pluto was discovered in 1930 by the American astronomer Clyde Tamba and it was believed to be the ninth planet in our solar system up until I believe August of 2006 when um, the International Astronomical Union defined the term planet and according to that definition Pluto failed to meet one of the conditions to be considered a planet. So the three conditions are that the object must be in orbit around the Sun, two, the object must be massive enough to be rounded by its own gravity, and three, it must have cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. And what that means is that the body, or Pluto in this case, would have to be gravitationally dominant um, in such a way that there are no other bodies of comparable size other than Pluto's natural satellites or the bodies that are under Pluto's gravitational influence. So Pluto did not meet this condition and um, therefore it was deemed to not be a planet. Instead, Pluto and bodies like Pluto that meet the criteria 1 and 2 but not 3 um, would be called dwarf planets. In mythology, Pluto is the god of the underworld. In astrology, it is the ruler of Scorpio, and it represents the subconscious forces, and it rules with everything that is hidden below the surface. It forces a person to look inside and confront their darkest fears. And if they are able to face those fears, their life becomes transformed and enriched. For that kind of transformation to take place, um, something has to be first destroyed and then rebuilt. And that can be quite the unpleasant experience for a lot of people. But those who do decide to confront their fears on their own and to undergo those um, changes and challenges, um, then they experience a profound inner growth. Okay, let's give this a gentle spin. 
I just want the cells to spread a little bit. I don't want any paint flying off the canvas this time. And to maintain my composition, I'm just going to adjust it from now on by tilting. And that's it for this video. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below and I will see you next time.